hello guys welcome back with another video and today's video is very important for the people who are coming to Kent State University in fall so I've been uh, uh, requested by many people that you I should make a video on housing and meal plan and in, in, in Kent State University so it is a very uh, short video for you guys so first of all welcome to Kent State University 2023 for fall session 2023 so this uh, presentation provides an overview of the housing and meal plan options available to students. Okay, so yeah, so the first thing is you can find a housing in on campus and off campus. And if you are on campus, you can have dining. Uh, uh, there are dining available. So there are three options for you. One is the East Ways, the other one is Rosie's, and the third one is DI Hub Dining Hall. And uh, then in on campus, I think the 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 charges are per semester. So and the charges are a little higher. It's around four thousand five hundred per semester. So the other one is off campus. In off campus you have a lot of options so let's go ahead and see the slides okay on campus housing so and on campus housing you just go through the Kent I Kent uh, web page Kent.edu housing and summer housing or fall housing or just write housing Kent edu housing and you can email them as well and there, there are a lot of options available and uh, you will find the total fee structure as well so I don't prefer if somebody is coming from India or Pakistan I don't prefer him living on campus it's very expensive and uh, it's better to find off campus and off campus is not very far few of the options are very close or within the vicinity of the university so if you're applying for the housing, just uh, follow the www.kent.edu slash housing and follow the procedure and that's it. So this is uh, this is one of the view if you're living on campus, you can see something like that. So off campus, there are millions of options, bro. Don't worry about off campus and off campus, I can like I am living in Genesis. The second one okay so Genesis has three parts Genesis 1 2 and 3 so my apartment has two rooms two bed apart two bed and one washroom and a lounge and a kitchen so we are sharing four people we are living four people here so we share the rent for the Genesis is quite uh, high th these days it's around because it's a big house this Genesis 2 is very near to the campus. Okay, so it's just five minutes walk from here to library. So Genesis 2 cost you 1421 per month. And if, if four people are living here, it's good enough for four people. So you hardly pay like $350. And uh, there is Eagles Landing, which is just on the other side of Genesis. Eagles Landing, you can get an apartment in $900. It's a two-bed apartment, but little smaller than uh, smaller than Genesis. Yeah. So in this case, uh, in Eagles Landing, you have to try really hard because most of the people are really uh, interested in Eagles Landing because it's very close to the library. Okay. So University Oaks, there is another option. It's on the other side. College Towers. Uh, most of the students low budget students prefer living in college towers the good thing about college tower is it's cheap it's very near to the university but uh, I should be very candid here that college towers uh, I haven't seen or heard about anything but because there are a lot of students living so sometimes there, there are some problems and Holy Park is also a very good option there's also another option that is uh, University 
yeah kent village it's wonderful yeah if you are living in kent village and you can live uh, in an apartment uh, you can you can get a studio in 710 dollars and you can share two people it's like 350 or 60 okay so eagles landing as i've already defined explained previously that this is eagles landing buildings like these are like cottages uh, six or eight apartments in one building and uh, this is genesis it doesn't look like this but yeah it's better it's a good place uh university oaks i've never been to university oaks so this is another option but the rent is a little on the higher side this is college towers is a big building and uh, you, you get uh, apartment in different prices from 800 to 900 to 1200 and so on holy park is the good thing about holy park is very close to the acme acme market fresh market so you can um, work you can uh, actually your grocery wouldn't be that under big issue and you can go and buy something from the acme it's very close to to it okay so the rent in Holy Park is also same like Genesis and these apartments are very good, very good, yeah. The, the maintenance is very good, yeah. So on campus, you have on campus and this is the dining, this is DI, this is Eastways and uh, there are dinings in it. So if you are on campus, it's very easy, convenient for you and go and eat if you don't like to cook. But uh for on campus dining you have to have a meal plan which costs around 1000 to 1500 per semester depending on the on the meal plan that you take so then yeah this is like east ways dining you can see uh one more this is DI Hub. So if you're if you're living near DI Hub, you can go to the DI Hub for lunch or dinner. Yeah. This is Rosie's and it opens till I think midnight most of the time. So you can also use your uh, meal plan here. Yeah, the apartment is Kent Village. I've never been to this and. Uh, Sorry, the slides are a little random. So, so conclusion. So the conclusion is very clear. If you are coming to Kent State University for fall to 2023, you should come to off. You should be looking for off-campus housing, and you should make a group of four people if you can manage. Uh, I I forget to tell you about Genesis. If you go up, I can tell you some more information about Genesis. There are different uh genesis like one two and the three one and three are are on the other side one and three are double story buildings double story apartments there's on the first floor there's a big hall and kitchen on the first floor there are two rooms and a t and bathroom so uh genesis one and three are very good you can like people are living in genesis one and three more than six people are living there so it's more convenient people prefer living on a cheaper price so if you are um, if you are different if you don't want to share your room with someone i better suggest you go and uh, find a room in uh, find an apartment or a studio a studio type of apartment and and live all alone in the studio type cost you around 700 but if, if you are okay with um, any situation you just money matters for you then I would suggest go with Genesis 1 and 3 and there are a lot of people looking for sharing uh, so that they can lease the apartment yeah so welcome and good luck and I wish you a very good luck yeah thank you